Hey guys, what's up? Always here with the unboxing of the iPhone XS and XS Max. Before we get to the phone, let's get through the paperwork. As usual, you have the terms and conditions and the loved Apple stickers. Uh, but let me tell you one thing, guys. Uh, you don't actually get any bigger ones with the iPhone XS Max. So yeah, that's a that's a that's a bummer. Anyway, so I have the iPhone XS Silver in 256 GB and the iPhone XS Max in Space Gray again in 256 GB. Please don't judge me. Uh, I had to re record this again because I was disturbed. That's what you get. I mean, it's YouTube life, hence why there's bubbles on the screen protector. But anyway, listen to this. No brainer, the iPhone XS Max is a hefty price, big brother. Personally, I thought the form factor of the iPhone XS was a perfect size, but boy oh boy, this XS Max is crazy. If you know why, then comment below, but for some strange reason on the location of the AirPods and power brake, inside the boxes are reversed. This is for my future baby mama, hope your skin is black as me. In the box, Apple haven't included, for whatever reason, a USB-C to lightning fast charger. That's just insane. I mean, I think last year we just accepted that, but this year, I really think we should have had it. This is the usual 5 watt USB wall adapter. It's not fast charging, so you need to spend more on top of what you already spent on the iPhone. On the flip side of these AirPods, used to be a lightning to headphone adapter, but that is also missing with these iPhones. Uh, the usual USB to lightning charging cable. Uh, really hope it was the USB-C. The setup process was pretty quick, especially if you're coming from another iPhone. It's very similar to setting up the Apple Watch. Thumbs up for Apple for making it super seamless. I have to say, I'm not a big fan of the stainless steel silver on the iPhone XS. Uh, the whitish back is just not consistent. The side is super shiny and you can see the two lines for the antennas. Front is the same as the previous gen iPhone 10. And what is this at the bottom of the iPhone, a single line for the antenna and the speaker holes aren't even symmetric anymore. The space gray, however, is definitely my favorite. And this tennis max feels great in hand. A little too big for me though. You can barely see the antenna lines on this. So if you're all for discreet look, then this is for you. By far the best color. Both the iPhone tennis max and the tennis are using the all new A12 Bionic chip. So the big difference between the two phones will be the screen size and the battery life. The iPhone XS has a 5.8 inch display and the XS Max has a 6.5 inch display, which is massive. The pixel density is exactly the same for the two phones. If you have an iPhone X, then don't get any of these. I repeat, don't get any of these, unless you're coming from an iPhone SE or iPhone 8 or anything in between, then yeah, if you got the money, then go for it. I hope you enjoy the unboxing and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.